Hey cats, it's Ed Earbud here. Today with a review of some new running tech that's been sent over to me from Earfun. You know I like my music, especially whilst running, so any new earbuds I can test out are always very welcome. Today we're taking a look at the Earfun Free Pro 2. Thanks for tuning in cats, it's always appreciated. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, but also click the bell below for notifications when I roll those new videos out for you. And it always helps the channel out if you give this video a thumbs up like and share this video with your running buddies. Merci beaucoup. Earfun have very kindly sent over these headphones for me to test out for you. They haven't paid me to make this review, so you get my honest opinions as per usual. These retail for around about 70 pounds here in the UK, which gives us a nice affordable option with some waterproof capabilities. So first some stuff that I really like about these earbuds. I have been testing them out for around about four weeks now, mainly on runs, some walks as well, but you're running's why you're all here, isn't it? So how do they get on? I've got to be honest, for a fit perspective, I think these are a little easier to locate into the ear than the Air Pro 2, which I tried out a few months back. You've got various different rubber ear hooks that you can add on to the headphones, depending on the size of the ear, and those ear hooks do make it a little easier to get the earbuds in and out of your ears. The package comes with three different ear hooks to help you keep the buds securely in place along with a range of different ear tip sizes as you would expect from such a product really nice packaging here as well from earfun nice cheap affordable price but you still get a really nice quality product i've had no issues with these falling out on runs it just stayed really securely there no movement whatsoever even in quite rainy conditions or i've got very very sweaty i've had no major issues in terms of the seal to keep in the sound as you can see, the case here for the Free Pro 2 is quite a bit smaller than the Air Pro 2 from a few months back. These don't protrude out of the ears quite so much as the Air Pro 2. That might be something you're really looking for in an earbud. The case has got a slightly more metallic feel to it. It feels well built enough to take a few drops or two. Easy to charge these up, just throw them back into the case. I've never had any issues where the earbuds haven't sat properly and haven't charged. No dedicated app for these or anything like that. I'd literally just opened up the case and found them within my iPhone Bluetooth settings and there they were. I can confirm I got about 25 hours out of these with noise cancelling switched on. That does make a big difference actually to the bass response that you'll get from these earbuds. I found on the normal setting it was okay but it really does accentuate the bass when you turn on that active noise cancelling. Another big boon here, especially for the price, is the fact that you can charge the case wirelessly. I think I had a few fewer issues repairing these earbuds with any other new devices than the Air Pro 2 from a few months back. They're just pretty foolproof from that respect, although always hang on to the manual. You never know when you need it. Sound-wise, the Free Pro 2 isn't quite as aggressive in the EQ as the Air Pro 2 was. Certainly in the low and high end, it feels a little bit more balanced this time out. I think the drivers are a little smaller in these earbuds, a 6mm rather than the 10. The kick drum third of Dave Grohl's drums and the low end warmth of Billy Gibbons' guitar on Run Run Rudolph is very pleasing and that Telecaster spank and brightness comes through well on Shaken Stevens material. I bet you've never heard somebody review some earbuds with Shaken Stevens, have you? The mid range of Nick Drake's acoustic guitars feature a good level of detail for such a device and I certainly think you can consider these as an AirPod alternative but without the price tag. Let's be quite frank guys, some of the Apple earphones are ridiculously priced for what they are. As I said earlier, when running I experience very few issues with these. Sometimes I get problems with the controls, especially with the touch controls. As you rack up the miles and you get hotter, you get sweatier, sometimes you lose that seal and with it a lot of the bass response from earbuds. I think the size and shape of the Free Pro 2 really help to reduce that problem and just prevent it really from happening over the course of a longer run. I did talk about the active noise cancelling here, but you also have the ambient mode, which is very useful perhaps if you're running in an urban very busy environment you can turn on that ambient sound and suddenly you can hear any cars or dangers that might be around lots of positives here about the free pro 2 and very few negatives whilst the touch controls on both earbuds are relatively responsive and reasonably quick to action any functions that you input 
the lack or omission of a previous track function is perplexing. Although you can activate obviously your phone or voice assistant by a tap and long press of the right earbud which could get around that. There's three different settings for the active noise cancelling on the Free Pro 2. You have that ambient sound mode, a normal mode which is what you get on a typical set of earbuds and the cancelling mode. Though I would suggest the voice confirmation that you receive in the earbuds is a little bit quiet really. It's sometimes quite hard to distinguish which mode you might be in. Just a few decibels higher would have made it a little easier to be able to hear. I found voice controls very responsive here on the Free Pro 2 and I do like the implementation of the low latency game feature here. Though still quite noticeable in terms of lag, I think it's about 80 milliseconds or so. I think it could be useful in a few specific operations, perhaps if you're watching some sort of video or film. We all know Bluetooth isn't perfect from that respect. It's always going to be a bit laggy. There's always going to be a little bit of a delay. An interesting inclusion nonetheless, especially at this price point. Volume wise, the six millimeter drivers here in the Free Pro 2 don't quite have that va va voom and pump and thud that we hear with the 10 millimeter drivers in the Air Pro 2. Though I found this only more relevant perhaps on more dynamic bass tracks, bass fueled music like drum and bass perhaps or EDM. As such for most material the Free Pro 2 sounded absolutely fine. I think it's very much down to your requirements whether you go for the Free Pro 2 or the Air Pro 2. If you want the power and that charged sound then you've got to go for the Air Pro 2 really with those extended drivers. Much more exciting and hyped up sound. Perhaps if you're operating in a more busy urban area, those would be the ones to go for. Otherwise, the Free Pro 2 has got pretty much all you need if you're looking for that more natural sound and perhaps a more customizable fit with those ear hooks. Either way, I can heartily recommend both of these earbud sets from Earfun. Lots of musical enjoyment to be had here for a meager number of Earth credits. I've had almost zero issues with these, just good clean ear fun. Do check the links in the description for that discount code on the free Pro 2. Many thanks to Earfun for sending these over for review. Much appreciated. A musical recommendation now. I'm actually recommending you to avoid this album. Mariah Carey's Magical Christmas Special. I think this is some Apple TV exclusive thing or something, but it just sounds like they've kind of got a hoover and sucked out any subtlety and magic from the songs and replaced it with sugar molasses or something it, it's just horrible there's a version of sleigh ride on here which has a horse sound which appears to be from some 8-bit computer game it's just an uninspired production there's stack loads of auto-tune and effects on Mariah Carey's voice it's just really nasty like a really cheap pair of mp3 player headphones those packing ones you used to get. Ariana Grande appears later on on a track called Oh Santa. I think Santa would probably stay away if he heard this. He'd take his presents, get in the sleigh and hightail it out of there. There's an almost demonic version of the Sugar Plum Fairy track on here as well. It sounds a bit like out of a horror film. And then of course, Mariah Carey has to go and butcher Silent Night at the end as well. Please avoid this at all costs. If you want to enjoy Christmas, it's Mariah Carey's magical music special. It's absolute. Hopefully you'll be able to avoid that one, guys, and it won't spoil your Christmas. Thanks for tuning in sticking with me to the end of today's video, guys. Always appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and also click the bell below for notifications when I roll out those new videos for you. And you can also give this video a thumbs up, like, and share it with your running buddies if you want to help out. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.